everybody. I like cake. Thank you for joining us, everybody. It is Zach from A to Z's Whimsical Adventures. Amanda is off saving the world somewhere, so you have me today. Today, we are doing our tech video. We are gonna showcase all the technology that we use to make our content for you all to see here today. All right, so let's get started with the first little bit of tech, which I'm sure you all have and probably have created videos and stuff on. Your smartphone. I use the Galaxy S5. When I showcase the camera that's filming right now, that's exactly what I used was the S5 to film that. First started creating content, we needed a pic. Not a pic, we needed a camera that did pics. So the camera that we chose was this little beauty right here. Nikon Cool Pics S7000. Nice little simple point and shoot. Um, you may be wondering why I went with that one and not, you know, many of the other Nikon Cool Pics is out there. Um, price, it was fairly cheap for what it was and it had the things that we wanted, which was the wide angle lens. So you weren't limited to this, you actually had this. It's very important when you're content creating because you want as much wide angle that you can get. You can always shrink down, but you cannot elongate. So that's why we looked for it. We also want to make sure that it shot in full HD 1080p. So that was what we were using. Um, a lot of our earlier videos had that. It died during the making of one of our videos. This cool. one right here. Hi. So we had to get a new one. So we did our research and we looked around and oh, it was a headache because we're like, well, what do we do? We're gonna go camcording. We're gonna go with the DSLR. We finally settled on this beauty right here. I would show it to you, but this is exactly what we are filming on right now, and it is the Canon Rebel T5i. Powerhouse, it's a beautiful camera. I love it, still learning it, but it does what it needs to do. Now you may be wondering, well, why didn't you go for the T3i or the T4i, or heaven forbid, the 60D? I could have gone with the T3i or the T4i, the reason why I did it is because they were older cameras and I wanted a newer camera. So that's what I went and I didn't want to go with the 6i because it was brand new and it's kind of expensive. This one, um, Amazon says it retails, I got a little cheat sheet here, for around $649. I actually got this one as a steal through eBay for just over 500 and some change and it comes with the kit lens which is the 18 to 55 millimeters. So that's a pretty good deal. And it's not refurbished, it's not um, you know open boxed, it's none of that stuff. It came sealed, perfect, I was assured, I had a warranty on it. So brand new, $500, do your due diligence. You can always find stuff cheaper, you know, just make sure to research our stuff. The main reason why we went with that is we were looking for the flip out screen. The flip out screen was essential because it allowed us to line up our shots and not be out of focus or you know have the tops of our heads cut off or whatever. It also had full manual capabilities, which is great. There is a you know little learning curve with that, but it's nothing that YouTube and a good hearty search can't find. That's basically how I've learned how to use this camera is by going on YouTube, learning how to do stuff, and just going out and shooting. So that's exactly what we're shooting on right now, the Canon Rebel T5i. Um, so that's that's our camera setup, okay? So now we're gonna go on to microphones. The microphone that we do most of our voiceover and gameplay um, stuff is with the, give me a second, Blue Snowball Ice. Um, what's nice about that is it's USB driven, so you don't need an external amplifier to run it. You literally plug it into the back of the microphone, run that cable into the back of your computer, and you are set to go. It's nice, it's compact. When we started doing skits, we wanted something a little bit more portable, something that um, we 
we were able to move around and it didn't have to be directly 100% right in front of us all the time. So that's when we decided to go with the Zune H1. It is fully wireless. It has no wires. It runs off one AA battery and just your memory card. And that's it. Um, it does have um, connections at the bottom where you can connect it to either a tripod or a microphone stand, which is excellent. It gives you that versatility that you need when you're doing skits and you're moving around and you're not going to be directly able to shoot a microphone directly in front of you. So that's what it does. And it does an excellent job because that's what we are recording on now. If you listen now, this is the sound that is coming from the camera itself. It's okay, but not really that great. And now here is the sound from the Zoom H1. As you can see, it is quite a big difference. So that's why we went with it. And it's fairly cheap. Um, Zoom H1, $99. Search around, I'm sure you can find it a little bit cheaper. That is the microphone and camera setup. So now we are on to accessories. Two major accessories, which are our tripods. We have the first tripod, which is the Targus TG42TT. That is what we originally started out with when we had the point and shoot. Um, when we first started out with the point and shoot, we didn't have any tripods, we had boxes, and that was miserable. You will learn really quickly that is not the way to do it. So we went and we got a cheap tripod that would just hold the camera, and that's what the Targus um, TG is for suits itself but since we've gotten the bigger DSLR I don't trust it enough to support it and heaven forbid that that camera fall and break I'm gonna raise holy hell on everybody that's around me so I needed a more steady stronger tripod did my research and I found this beauty which is the Magnus BT 4000 this is a beautiful tripod it does everything that I needed to do and it was fairly cheap at coming in around $150. There are cheaper tripods out there, there are more expensive tripods out there, but for the money I thought this one was great. The main thing is, is it comes with a fluid head. Now if you don't know what that is, a fluid head allows you to get those smooth pans and tilts as opposed to the other type which I can't remember. going to be doing the video you want to look for a fluid head tripod and at $150 I mean it's sturdy it's solid um, I believe it's made of aluminum so it's not too heavy but it gets the job done it has a locking mechanism at the top so you don't have to worry about your camera sliding off and falling and breaking there's a red button you have to push that in to actually release the, the camera tray so, peace of mind there. It also has um, adjustments for the handle, so whether you're left or right-handed, you can adjust that, that um, makes you feel better. Those are our two main accessories. The only other accessory that I have is this one right here, the Skullcandy Hesh version two. Um, this is what I do all my monitoring on. Yes, I would like the Audio-Technica ones. They're expensive. This was cheap. I go with cheap if I can afford it. They retail for around $59 or less. Once again, research, you can find them cheaper, but um, they do what I want them to do, and that's all that I care about. So those are the ones I use for when I'm editing the videos or you know listening to the music on the gameplay, whatever. That's what I use. That's the tech that we use to create stuff. The only other um, equipment that we use is this right here that is your brain that is the most important technology that you can have because without that all this that is worthless don't think that you got to spend a lot of money and have the latest and greatest technology if you cannot think of original content that's what you have to do that's it uh, we are upgrading our whimsical studio that's what you want to call it so I'll be doing a video of that later uh, we're upgrading the computer uh, it's a little slow and sluggish and we need something better so if you know of anything
computerized, leave it in the comments down below. I'm going to have links to all this tech down below so you can find out all the real specs and stuff on that. Um, but anywho, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, stay whimsical everybody. Bye! Tempe version, right next to the marijuana dispensary shop. Bye Papa John. Bye Papa John. This is like, this is amazing. <laughs>